Hello and welcome. So in the last tutorial we have seen uh, about the basics of the listener or eye test listener in a test ng. Now let's understand how you can use the listener to capture the screenshots based on any failure or you know if the test case passes you want to capture the screenshot. Most probably in the actual scenarios you implement listener to capture uh, you know a screenshot on failure or send emails when the execution has been successful zip the file and send emails and there are many other you know real uh, scenarios where you you are required to implement these listeners so in this uh, tutorial we'll understand how you can implement the listener test ng listener to capture screenshots on any test case failure okay so uh, the first thing we uh, would like to do so in this listeners.java is uh, you know the class that i have created which is implementing i test listener right so we have seen some of the uh, statement that we have printed on the console uh, in case the test case failed or you know test while the test case is starting now on the failure i want to capture screenshot okay so what I need to do is the first thing is basically to have the util or utility to capture the screenshot so if we uh, if you haven't gone through the previous tutorial that I have uh, created in this series uh, just go through and understand the screenshot capture uh, class so this is the code that I have copied from the uh, previous you know tutorial uh, wherein I have explained how you can capture, you know, a screenshot. So capturing screenshot demo. So you just will, we have just copied the lines that are required to create this capture screenshot utility. And here you are getting this error because I haven't, uh, you know, referenced this driver from the base class. So uh, either I have to create a local variable for this, but because in the framework, we will be, you know, launching uh, the driver from the base class and then executing the test will will be taking the reference of the same driver. OK, so let's understand that. So first thing is basically to create, you know, I'll create a base class wherein I'll initialize the driver and, you know, um, create or basically launch the browser and then separate class for the test cases. So I'll externalize the you know before uh, test and after test into the base class and then we'll have the test case which will have just the steps to perform the tests so just create a new class and here i'll simply say uh, base test right and in this particular class what we'll define is we'll simply define the um, First thing is to define the driver object. So we'll say public static um, web driver driver and we'll initialize it at null. Okay. And import web driver. And the next thing is to launch the browser. Okay. So we'll create a method for launching the browser. So we'll say public void launch browser because this will be the common uh, step across all your test case and it makes sense to externalize these sort of common method into you know common classes and use these in your test cases uh, just by extending to the base class so uh, in the launch browser what we'll do is we'll simply say uh, web driver manager so web uh, driver manager dot firefox so let's launch firefox this time and then we'll set up okay in the actual test cases you will be writing uh, you know if else here based on the uh, you know what you where you want to execute your test case you will be utilizing um, you know if else condition to navigate through um, on the input and it will initialize that particular browser so that is also explained in the previous tutorial so please go through and watch that to understand that okay so and then driver dot uh, so we'll say driver is equal to here we'll initialize so we'll say new or create an object of the firefox driver so we'll say new firefox driver okay and import Firefox driver okay now this method is your setup right so you can 
annotate it with before before suite okay so we'll be invoking this method always before launching our test case okay i'll simply copy this and here i'll simply say driver dot close okay and here closing browser and annotate this method as after suite now with these annotations if you are you know launching your test case before every test suite that you are launching these two methods will be launched first okay so sorry before suite will be launched first and then when the test case will finish or the test suite execution will finish then after suite will be launched and the driver will, will get closed okay so that's the base class we have done now when we write our test case so we'll create a separate class for the test case and for the test case we'll say uh, listener demo test all right and in this particular class we are just trying to launch one particular url so i'll simply say so before that because the driver reference is in the base class we have to extend the base class right so extends extends base class okay and import just let me save it oh sorry it's base test all right extends base test and hover over and import base test from common all right now we can reference the driver from the base test so because driver is initialized in the base test or java so we can reference that driver from this particular test so now we can create a method for uh, our test case so we'll say simply uh, public void uh, launch app so we are trying to launch an application and then we can simply say driver dot get and i launch ebay.com okay so we'll say https uh, ebay.com all right so we'll provide the url and annotate this because this is our test case so i'll put the annotation at test and import test ng test annotation right so now we have the base class where we have the driver reference and before suite and after suite so uh, these are the uh, annotations and then in the test if we'll try to run now this particular test right so it will successfully uh, run the error is in the test utils which will uh, which will understand how you can rectify that so it will launch the browser firefox and open ebay.com right so now in our test case we don't have anything specific to you know like uh, driver initialization and all so in the actual frameworks that uh, you know the way that you will be progressing through in designing the framework now the third step so first step is we have created the base class second step is we have created the test case right and the third step is to basically you know uh, create a utility to capture the screenshot right so test utils is uh, the class that we have created and this has the steps to capture the screenshot and i have explained you um, about the capturing screenshot in the previous tutorial and this requires the driver reference okay so what we'll do is we'll reference this utility test utils to the base class so we'll simply say extends base test all right and with this you can see now because the driver reference is in the base test class then as soon as we extend now the reference is available and this utility is fine okay so we have created base class base test uh, the test case act itself and the utility right now we have to implement this utility into our listeners okay so listeners we have already understood how we have how we can create listeners class and it is implementing i test listener now this i test listener needs to uh, basically or this listener class needs to capture the screenshot for us on test failure okay 
now this test util class if you see it has the method get screenshot now if we'll call this method get screenshot it will take the screenshot and it will store the screenshot in this particular folder with the file name that we have specified now here i have you know um, kept it really simple but in actual scenario you'll, you'll surround it with try catch block etc so that will uh, you know cover in the java topics you know when we uh, go to the advanced sections of the java tutorial so now to get the screenshot we simply need to call this method from our listeners okay so listener class what we need to do is we need to call that method method and because this method is in the test utils class we can simply extend our listener so we can say extend um, test utils right and we'll just hover over and import this test utils from the utilities package right because this test utils class in the, is in the utilities package all right and now here on test failure if you just you know say get screenshot all right then just surround it with try catch okay and the error will be gone because test utils has this get screenshot method and listener is extending this test util method uh, test util class so i can reference any of the methods that are available in the test utils class so i have simply used the method method get screenshot and this method will capture the screenshot and store it in a specific location in the project so you'll see here so it will put it in the project location uh, in the screenshot the folder name with the screenshot okay so that's uh, all about you know implementing it so we have implemented on test failure the next step is to basically now this is our test case right so listener demo test now this test needs to be part of a test ng file and then in the test ng file we need to uh, set up the listeners okay so like previously we have set up this listener so this is the file test ng file which had that particular test case so we have to specify the class name of this particular test which is listener demo test right so i will simply change it to uh, listener demo test right and then uh, i'll simply change the name of the test to listener testing and here I have the reference of the listener already, which is common dot listener. So this is very important. You have to in include listeners and the class name of your listener class. So listener class is in the common package and the file name is listeners. Okay. So listeners common dot listeners is the class name that is provided in this particular tag by default. Say for example, you are creating uh you know uh test ng file if i simply just right click and go to test ng and click on convert to test ng you won't see that tag listeners tag here right so you have to provide that listener tag after test suite and before the test right so you simply have to add that particular listeners uh, tag right and within that listeners tag you have to add the class name of the listener okay so because test ng file was already there i'll simply update that test ng file and i'll say rename the suit name as well so i'll say listener test suite okay so save this particular file now if i run this file okay and uh, as a test ng suite now if there is any failure then it will capture screenshot and store it in that particular location right so it has launched the browser there are no failures right so you can see test case is starting is the statement that is coming from the listeners right but because there was no failure this didn't got invoked this on test failure method didn't got invoked okay so let's fail this particular test so what we'll do is we'll uh, you know assert we'll use assert to fail so we'll say assert dot assert true and we'll pass condition as false okay so this time this test will fail 
and it should capture the screenshot okay so let me run again and let's see the results all right so let's see there is a failure because we have provided the assert let's refresh this project and see yeah you can see the screenshot folder got created and the screenshot being taken here right so if you see double click on that you'll see the screenshot has been taken okay let me run again and see that second screenshot is visible or uh, been taken and available in this particular folder all right let me refresh and you can see another screenshot has been taken because the test case failed all right so that's how you will be implementing listeners to capture the screenshot in your test case now here i am you know putting assert and failing the test case just to show you how the screenshot will be captured but in actual scenario once you implement your listener and say for example you have you know um, 500 test cases and out of those test cases whenever any of the test case will fail uh, on that particular failure the screenshot will be captured and stored in the location that you will specify in your listener so to reiterate um, to implement listener pretty basic um, just you have to follow a couple of basic steps so what we have done is we have you know externalized the driver initialization and all into the base test right and then in our test cases uh, you know we have just extended uh, the base test class wherein we have you know common say any any common methods that you use in your frameworks you should always move it to the common you know package or the uh, package and the classes and categorize them into common categories so that you can reuse those in your test cases that's why we are moving these you know launch browser and closing browser in the base test then in our actual test case we have extended the base test and use the driver reference then in the test utils you know you can have the utility for capturing screenshot for sending email or any uh, you know additional work uh, that is required as part of the framework design will go into the utilities and then uh, utilities if there are methods that require you know driver reference you extend that to base you know ref base class as well or the common class where you have the driver reference then in the listeners we have used the methods that we have defined in the utilities okay so any utility uh, will have those methods you use those methods or call those methods in your listener class and then the last step is implement or you know provide the reference of the listener in your test ng test suite that you are trying to execute so that's all about how to implement um, listeners in test ng to capture screenshot hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching